We are now doing part three of the winter run project. So now we're going to get setting up the infrastructure to do the composting all winter long, which, as we talked about in the last video, is going to give us the heat that's going to hopefully attract up some bugs and whatnot, worms, pill bugs, things like that, that can help feed the chickens throughout the winter. And we'll have awesome compost at the end of the spring as well. So we're actually going to be using this scrap wood here. This is actually some free wood I've had laying around for a long time. That was actually uh, some old uh, floor decking boards from an old uh, warehouse building from uh, I think the early 1900s it was over in Holyoke. But uh, without further ado, let's get to it. So it's the next day, it's a little brighter out because, you know, it is the season of chasing the sun, you know what I'm saying? But we're now actually doing some multitasking because we only got about maybe an hour of daylight a day by the time during the week that we get home from work. But yesterday we did get this built. So this is what will be our uh, sort of like our compost bed uh, throughout the winter time for the chickens. So. Uh, this will get filled up with leaves and various other yard materials, maybe some wood chips as well, uh, food scraps, things like that. And it'll constantly get topped off and turned. So it won't be able to sit here and get anaerobic and nasty and stinky and all that. And then as it becomes ready throughout the winter, because it'll probably happen quick, they'll just scoop it out and throw it, top it off in the garden, put it in a pile, whatever the case may be, come springtime. We now have a nice fresh layer of hard wood chips. It smells nice and fresh. We now got some leaves in here too. So this is an example of yard materials that we can keep throwing in here all winter long. We put all our leaves in one big pile. So it's gonna act like as a big insulation dome. In other words, that whole pile of leaves is not going to freeze. So I'll be able to actually scoop it and bring it in here for these girls to go through. You just saw one of them just scratching through. But um, now, one of the last things we're gonna do for now is with this. And we're gonna measure from the top here right down to the bottom. And I've got one extra piece of uh, metal piping, like what's right here. So we're actually gonna run a piece straight down just as an additional support for uh, carrying a winter snow load because if this thing does get completely full of snow, especially wet, heavy snow like we get around here a lot these days, uh, I don't want this thing collapsing, especially if myself and the chickens are in here at the time. All right, y'all, so we got our center support here cut, and down here I actually dug in this uh, piece of wood for it to sit on so it doesn't sink down in under a snow load. So now, all we got left to do is raise that up, and hold that in place, and get in the other half of our clamp with some strength. We'll get it eventually. There we go. And then, of course, never forget your nut. And 
I mean, help is helps if you keep your tool in your pocket. And voila, we now have a central support. And then, you know what else we'll probably do up of here? I still have more of those clamps. We might even clamp a rod or a stick or something on here and then have a nice little roost for the chickens in here. So at that guys, I think this concludes part three of the winter chicken run build out. So we've got our wall here, we've got our leaves up. This is gonna be all the uh, the winter compost bed basically. And of course you can see, we've got fresh uh, wood chips for the winter and we are good to go. So till next time guys, see ya.